my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be my first eyeshadow palette haul of 2021 so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so here are my palettes and i have 11 palettes that i want to show you all and i'll do it just like i did the last time i will show you all some swatches as i talk about the palette and things like that not of the entire palette but just a few of them just so you can kind of see how they look swatch so I picked up three of Marc Jacobs palettes and I have the the extravagance I have the cherry rific and the and the fantasine palette and I hope I'm pronouncing that right so the first palette that I'm gonna start off with is the fantasine I think I'm saying it right um, these palettes are so cute to me look at the color story it's like a peachy bronzy goldy type of uh, color story. It's something really simple, something you can really grab and get a quick look with. Marc Jacobs has some, to me, hands down, really nice metallic shadows. They're very creamy, soft, and just really easy to apply as well as the mattes. The mattes are really creamy and blend out really well. Also with these shadows, I find that they're really not hard to use with a damp base. You know how sometimes with your eyeshadow you can either set it or not set it I find that these matte shadows and metallics work well um, with either way so definitely I feel are worth the price sometimes you can find these on sale they have one um, I can't think of the name of it I'll put it on the screen but that palette is on sale right now for $34 at Sephora so if you're interested in any of Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes definitely keep your eye out because sometimes you can catch them on sale the next palette that I have is the Cherry Rific, and this is so cute. It's got the little cherry on top. Here are the shadows right here, and of course, all of these are pretty much berry tones. You do kind of get a white, frosty type of shade right here. Again, this is another palette that you can quickly grab on the go and get a really nice, simple look, you know, no fuss. I really like this shade right here, smack dab in the middle. I'm gonna swatch that one for you. It looks very pretty. I don't even, I guess that would be like a, a mauve or a muted mauve or a plum tone. Um, I'm thinking, but either way, I love this color story. It's really pretty, um, really close to pink, even though it isn't pink, but yeah, I really love this one. So the next one is Extravagance and I love this packaging as well as you know this one of course that one and the white one is nice too um but anyway you get a little nice black cover but y'all look at these shadows you get like a traditional gold a bronzy gold and you also get like a old gold color right here and this black um that's on the end if you look really closely it does have really light gold um flakes in it now i have heard people say that they don't like these kind of shadows i love these kind of shadows because you know when i apply them you know when you take a picture you know if the picture is really up close you can see those little sparkles of course it's not bam in your face but you can still see it I think this one is my favorite out of all of them but these three middle shades are just so divine but anyway and I love the packaging isn't that gorgeous all right so the next palette that I have is by Tom Ford and this is actually my first Tom Ford uh, eyeshadow palette and this one is leopard sun so here's the palette right here you do get a mirror and they also give you little thingies to <laughs> little eyelash applicators and things like that to apply now I did swatch these and they did not swatch well but I need to go ahead and say I do understand that that's never an indicator of how well a eyeshadow will apply but you know I like the color story and if they do apply really well and you know when I try it I'll, I'll get some more palettes but so yeah I do like the color story and I really can't wait to dive into it this too is another palette that you can just kind of grab and do your look on the go especially since you get the little um, applicators in here but so yeah I can't wait to use this baby and let you all know how it works all right so I ended up buying four of the new Revlon So Fierce palettes and the shades that I have it in are Slight Flex, That's a Dub, The Big Bang, and Clap Back. And I actually have on That's a Dub right now. It was a really easy look to do. I just 
put this chocolate shade in the crease and then I put this shade right here the first one in the inner part of the eye and that was it and I pretty much made this as deep as I could right there in the crease and I took a clean brush and just buffed it out all the way up and I just used a foundation powder that I have and added that in my brow bone and it was really quick um, I didn't have to set my base and I feel as though everything blended out really well and you know that's really as far as you know setting your base or not setting your base you know that's you know up to the person but a lot of times when I do it I just do it to quickly get the pigment there and just kind of buff it out but anyway enough about that let me just show you all the blue one and the blue one is clap back it's really cute it's got that bright blue and this um, lavender shade is to die for it is so gorgeous and then they have another one with pink and orange and you all know that pink is is like one of my favorite colors pink and black are my two favorite colors just too cute I think that these pal oh, and I got another one this one is a uh, slight flex and it has a green in it and then you kind of get a terracotta shade but this too is a really nice color story all of these are again really great if you you know just want something simple that you can kind of throw on and go and be out the door all right so the next one that I have is a beauty bay eyeshadow palette and the name of this one is sunset horizon this is the palette and you do get a mirror and these are the shadows so here's the deal with beauty Bay's palettes i feel as though there's a bit of a learning curve <laughs> with their palettes i feel as though with these palettes if you're not going to set your base you're going to have a harder time you're gonna um well that i don't know the, uh, their color stories are really pretty i mean look at it look at this gold and this orange and red and just all kind of stuff i feel like if you're probably at moderate level as far as eyeshadow application i think these palettes would be good because what i found is if you set your base and you go in to use these they don't layer well um they don't really blend with <laughs> Uh, and I say that because I have the blue magic and don't get me wrong I like I think it's a pretty palette and I think you can work with it and you can blend it out and you can do all of that magical stuff it's just for me I just found it a little bit hard to work with and that's just me you know and I'm definitely no pro but you, you're kind of drawn in by the color story and I can't wait to try this one out so the next one that I have is by makeup obsessions that's a tongue twister anyway and this is the ratty daydream palette this is it right here okay and you do get a mirror and here is and here are the shadows really cute um it just reminds you of a summer palette you get all these bright colors right uh, the bright yellows and you get the blue and you get your silver and you get this uh metallic shade right here and right here and i think this one is metallic too it's a fun color story it's gonna it would take me a minute to kind of figure out what type of look i would want to do with it because i kind of feel like it's got every shade in here but it's really pretty and I can't and it's even got a white which is so cool so anyway I can't wait to dive into this palette all right and the last one that I have is by Cara Beauty and this is the make a statement eyeshadow palette oh my goodness look at the cover isn't she gorgeous drop dead gorgeous so anyway you do get a mirror here and look at these shades these are really nice and I love the fact that you got some deep blues and teals in here you do get a glitter I'm not going to use that but you do have the greens which are really pretty and you get all these pinks totally gorgeous this is a bronzer and this is a highlight and let me tell you I can't wait to use it. I already swatched this highlighter and I know it's going to look bomb on my skin tone. And then look at that red. I've never used uh, Cara Beauty's eyeshadows, so I cannot wait to use these. I just love the color story and I love how rich these shades um, look. I kind of... 
I do feel that the color story kind of isn't all over the place. Right when I look at it, I see some looks that, you know, I can get even if I just wanted to keep it simple and stay with a monochromatic look. You know, I could easily, you know, keep it green and do a look, keep it blue, you know, pink, real simple. Um, so I can really appreciate that. And then, of course, you can always use this bronzer as a um, transition shade or to uh, help blend the other shades out. Just all kind of stuff. So anyway, can't wait to use this and I need to get my hands on some more of these palettes. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are all of the eyeshadow palettes that I picked up in my first haul for 2021. Have you tried any of these eyeshadow palettes? Uh, do you plan on it? Could you care less? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.